What happened, Rose? What happened, girl? It was all good 24 hours ago. Y'all was in the Sprinter van. Y'all was sipping Casamigos. Okay? Y'all was in a Pooh Shiesty mask. Y'all was deboing bitches up out of their sleep. All right? Catching Rico charges together. Now they don't know you. Now they selling your ass up the river, Pooh. Now they stabbing your ass in the back, Michael Myers style. Hurt, don't it? Let's talk about it, baby. Because this is a big deal. <laughs> Rose, bring your old ass on. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Welcome back. <laughs> What's up, y'all? My name is Big Mouth, and this is my channel. If you have not been here before, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you turn on my post notifications, baby, so you can be alerted when I upload a new video, girl. Because y'all want to miss out. So, y'all, all right. So, let's talk about the men. Okay, so the men, I got to catch up because I think I'm like two episodes behind, girl. They got a new ep They got episode nine coming out, and we reviewing episode seven right now, and I still got to do episode eight. So, girl, I'm like two episodes behind. But it did not disappoint y'all. So, we are at the episode that's after the episode. Ow. Girl, just, ugh. After the episode, girl, bitch. I'm sorry, y'all. Just get on over here. It's just ghetto production. So we are after the episode where Tina Key got the, 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 the Holy Grail smacked out her dumb ass. Okay, they done beat her motherfucking ass from 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 here to Ten Buck Two, bitch. All right, they done smacked her up out of her sleep, girl. Drug her shit downstairs, threw her out the house, girl. They thought they was some real motherfucking cowgirls when they did this shit, bitch. They had their poop poop shicey mask on and everything, baby. They thought they was this. They thought they was doing it. All right, baby. And then Jessica Dom spent the block and did them. So um, apparently, girl, this episode opens up. Where the last, last one left off at where Jessica is uh, entering the room as she's got all of the girls in the living room chilling the fuck out and she's coming in to basically check them about what they did to Tenneke. Who told y'all to do this? Y'all ain't picking this shit back out. Who told y'all to do this shit? Production. Yeah. So y'all got sent that back, back production to do some shit. I ain't even tell y'all motherfucking ass to do now, um, this whole, I'm just gonna be real. This whole scene was kind of weird. It was real cringy. And the reason why is because Jessica, bitch, I ain't believing shit coming out your mouth. Like, no shade, sis. No, I'm not gonna say I don't believe nothing. I'm really not. Okay, so Je Jessica Dime, here's the deal. I believe to a certain extent that you did not know what was going on, but I do not believe that you did not hear it and you did not have, like, catch wind of it some kind of way. I don't believe that. Like, I just can't believe that. And the reason why I can't believe it is because of the simple fact of the matter that everybody in the house got up when the noise erupted, except for you. You were the only one who was still asleep. So I'm just not understanding how everybody else can hear this and you can't. I don't know if you deaf, bitch. I don't know what's going on. Um, Jessica, baby, if you if, 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 if you hard of hearing, sis, we got to get you a hearing aid or something, let a bitch know. But sis, there's no way possible you didn't hear this shit. And then on top of that, sis, I just can't, I just, I just find it real hard to believe that production told all members of production what was going down except for you. You're the only one who do not know that these girls are about to bust up in there and beat Tina Key down and it's literally your show. I don't believe that, Jessica. I'm more inclined to believe that um, you knew what was going on. I feel like what actually happened was Jessica knew what was going on. I think that the production people probably hit her up and said, Jessica, look, bitch, the show is boring. Because up until that point, besides, you know, a couple of fights between uh, Rosé and Tenneke and uh, what's the other girl name? Black and T. Woods. Girl, it was pretty boring. It was pretty uneventful. So I'm, I'm sure uh, uh, production probably hit her up and said, look, bitch, the show is boring. You know, we trying to make this shit pop. We trying to get you, you know, get you some views, get this, get this on the road so we can get you a season two. So we need to do something. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to da 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 And instead of Jessica saying, you know what, that's my friend. Don't do that. We don't, we don't want nothing like that. I don't want nothing like that. Jessica just said, okay, well, bitch, we got to do what we got to do. And she put her hoodie on, put her sunglasses on, bitch, took a few extra sleeping pills, bitch, and dozed the fuck off. And I feel like that's kind of what happened. And Jessica, had you took a little bit of accountability and said, you know what? I did hear something about it, but 
I didn't know it was going down tonight and I didn't know it was going down like that. You know what I'm saying? I would have been more inclined to believe you, sis, but you just saying that you didn't know nothing about it. And the way you came in there, how you was talking to them, it was real, like, more so than you trying to check them, it just felt like you was trying to prove that you didn't know nothing about what happened. Like, you just felt like, it felt like you was trying to exonerate yourself. So, um... Yeah, Jessica, I'm not believing you, sis. No shade. I love you. I still think you're a dope-ass person, but I don't believe you didn't know nothing about that. I believe you sold your friend out for some views. Um, I don't think that you were an active planner. I definitely don't think that you was an active planner. I definitely don't think that you okayed it, and you said, yeah, let, let it happen, let it go down. You know, you probably looked at your phone, saw it, girl, turned over and rolled over and, and fell asleep. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Some along the lines of that. I think you just played dumb. That's what it, that's what I really think you did. So anyway, um, yeah, Jessica coming here and she talking to them. Girl, and they, they just giving her all types of BS and she just giving them all types of BS, girl. And the scene was pretty cringy. Um, nothing too much happened, girl. She didn't really reprimand nobody, didn't send nobody home, didn't do nothing to them, girl. Gave them a fucking a good talking to, like I said in the last of you. And then she moved the fuck on. So then we get in the kitchen scene and... Basically, everybody is trying to come to a further understanding of who said what, when, where, and how. Who told them they could do what? It's just the cast versus production at this point. When we was in, when we was in a car and y'all asked to get the ski mask, because we didn't buy anything, right? We asked for the ski mask, right or wrong? Right or wrong? This is on camera. Oh, no, nah, we did say, yeah, get the I blue shirt suit. I had the whole thing Yeah, but you stopped and booked them. I had the whole thing on camera in the car. Right. I never told y'all to do anything with that to that girl. Then, two, then you asked me wait, to wait, 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 uh, Ariel, wait, wait, wait. Because I ain't gonna lie. 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 But you're not gonna say and lie and say you ain't tell us to get her out the crib. And we end up finding out that uh, one of the cast, I said cast members, Lord Jesus, one of the production members named by the name of Ariel or Ariel, she ended up being the one who told them that they could do that, that they could put on a push icy mask and go in there and handle what they needed to handle. And she went so far as to tell them that um, if they wanted to be the number one show on the network, which currently is the Academy, if they wanted to beat the Academy's views, then they would have to pull off this push icy, you know, assault. So, um, and the camera wrote it back and everything like that. And she it confirmed she actually did tell them that. Now, she did not tell them specifically to jump the girl, but she definitely told them to go in there and get the girl out of the house. And she uh, told them, uh, uh, and she bought the mask for them to go do it. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not going, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 look the other way on this one. Sis. Production was messy as fuck. Okay, like I said, y'all go too far for these goddamn ratings and y'all didn't almost knock this girl into a coma for some damn ratings. If something had happened to that girl, Ariel Boo, I don't give a fuck how much you want to sit here talking about you didn't do this, you didn't do that. If something, if anything had happened to, to Tennessee, bitch, you would have been going down for murder with the rest of them hoes. All right, you would have been going down with a, with a Rico charge with the rest of them hoes, sis. You was an accomplice just like the rest of them hoes. And the other dude that was in the front with you is an accomplice as well, sis. Y'all bought the mask. Y'all okayed it, and then y'all incited it by telling them that if they wanted to compete with the Academy, they would have to do it. So y'all definitely made that happen to Tennessee. You're definitely the reason, Ariel, that that happened to that girl, and I don't ever want you to think that you didn't have nothing to do with it, sis. You had your hand all in that pot, sis, and God saw you. Bitch, you might have got away with it um, in the eyes of Now That's TV, but God saw you, baby, and karma gonna spin a block on your ass. You better believe it. So, um, and like I said, Tennessee, sis, you need to choose your friends better, baby. And, 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 and honestly, I don't know how the fuck you didn't see that coming, sis. I don't know how the fuck you didn't see that coming. Nobody in that house seen to like you. Nobody in that house seen to like you. Honestly, to tell you the truth, the production don't seem to like you. So, bitch, I could, I would have peeped that coming a mile away and got the fuck on somewhere or or something like that, baby. I just this uh, -uh and she's still in the house. After all of that, after the production and everybody then came came forward and the production and told on theyself and Rose and everybody then told on theyself and who came up with what plan, girl, this bitch Tennessee still in the house. Girl, I would have got the fuck out of there. Everybody is your eye. Production set you up. The other girl set you up. Jessica Dom, let it happen, bitch. Run, stupid. Girl, Tennessee, bitch, you about dumb as a box of a bag of sand, bitch. Just who, girl? Somebody roll that big bitch down the hill or something. I don't know. Anyway, so... Rose just sitting there getting real mad at Ariel because Ariel keep lying, trying to say that um she didn't tell them to jump her. She didn't tell them to jump her, which she directly didn't, but you kind of you kind of hinted at it. 
You know what I'm saying? You didn't tell them directly to go jump her, but send it all of them girls upstairs talking about get her out of the house. Bitch, you knew what the fuck was going to happen. Let's be for real, Ariel. You knew what was going to happen. Don't play dumb now if this shit actually did happen. So, yeah, I didn't really like that. But, and apparently, um, Rose didn't either because Rose almost beat the bitch up. I'll beat your fucking head in for life. Rose said so. I'll beat your head in for life. Don't hit her. All right, so, girl. And that's just one that's just one big bitch you don't want to tangle with. Ariel, I know you got them confessional sis talking your good shit, talking about how ill, uh, how Rose didn't do this and didn't do that. Did y'all see me flinch? Did you see me turn my head? Yeah, because you weren't gonna do anything. And you're still not gonna do anything, and I stand on that. Like you're not stupid. Them teeth is stupid, but you're not stupid. Sis, but when we looked at the footage, sis, you look kind of scared. You look like you was explaining the fuck out of yourself. Look like you was trying your best not to get hit. Every time the bitch threatened you, you just act like you didn't hear it. So, sis, it was very clear that you were scared of Rosé. I don't, I don't ever want you to think that she wasn't, okay? Sis, because if you, cause when she see the footage, you still got to see the bitch at the reunion. I don't want you to get drugged. You know what I'm saying? You look pretty. You know, I know they, they, they didn't tint that, that, that lace on top of that wig, though, bitch. And that's one thing I want to get on you about, sis, when you was in that confessional with that curly wig. I like the wig. I like the texture of the hair. But they did not tint that lace, baby. You had a, a, a motherfucking white woman scout color, sis, and, and you was looking like Cicely Tyson in the face. I don't I don't get it. But um, other than that, sis, you cute. I don't want to see you get beat up, bitch. Don't do it. Um... It ain't that serious. You know, just let Rosé do Rosé, girl. The bitch is a hurricane. But anyway, so uh, we move on from the kitchen scene, and we ended it off with um, Wes basically pointing the finger at Rosé. Nayeli, you know what I'm saying? Pointing the finger at Rosé. Well, no. Nayeli didn't necessarily point the finger at Rosé, but she didn't really take responsibility at this part for what she did in it. Um, nobody really did. Everybody was pointing the finger at Rosé, talking about Rosé told them this and told them that, and uh, production told them this and told them that. Like, no shade. Production can't make a bunch of grown-ass women do shit, and Rosé can't make y'all do shit either. Y'all are grown. All of y'all consciously decided to go in there with the mask on and assault that woman as a group. Y'all, Y'all decided that. So at this point, everybody needs to take responsibility for what the fuck they did. Because at the end of the day, bitch, all you hoes will be held accountable in the court of law. <laughs> no shade. But anyway, um, so after that, girl, the thing got stale. Um, Rose never whipped the bitch ass, and we move on. So after that, um, we move on to Jessica Dimes club booking. Girl, listen, sis, it was not a motherfucking club booking, Jessica. I don't know who paid you. To come to that goddamn place, sis. It was like a hookah bar with strippers at it. Girl, it was like one section, uh, like two bar stools, three people, you know, just I don't know, girl. It looked at like now that's TV put it together. I'ma just be for real with y'all. And that's not even me trying to be no hater or nothing. That's just really what I saw on my screen, baby. It was barely anybody in that motherfucker. So yeah, um, it was real lame. Jessica ended up taking the three girls plus Tennessee, you know, three girls who didn't jump Tennessee, which was um Okay, no shade, girl. I forgot old girl name. Um, I know it was Gorgeous, Shay Marie, and then it was the other girl, the girl who won the bag last time, the girl who won the last challenge. Them three plus um um Tennessee. They all got to go out to the hookah lounge slash bar slash strip club slash parking lot. Um, that Jessica Don was hosting that. So they get there and you know they shaking ass and stuff like that. But Tennessee was on some weird shit. She couldn't let it go. So. Basically, at the end of the night, when the bottle, they only had like girl, one bottle of Moet between the whole goddamn cast and crew. So they were splitting that bottle. So at the end of the night, I guess it was a little bit of liquor left in the Moet bottle. And Tennessee ended up pouring it. Gorgeous tells Tennessee to pour it into a cup. So Tennessee pours it in the cup. And as she, as she poured it into the cup, I guess uh, uh, Shay Marie came up to her, asked her for some, and the bitch looked at Shay Marie and continued to pour it in her cup. Like, she didn't save her no liquor, I guess. So that just made her go off. Dime had a bottle that she, on our way out, placed on the table, um, and Tineke was behind her, and then I was walking out last. So Dime put the bottle down, Tineke picks the bottle up, and she's, you know, pouring some of the liquor into the cup, which is cool. But we both had our eyes on the same thing at the same time. We did not go out long, so I wasn't turned up enough. So I was like, mm, I'm going to get me, you know, a cute little shot real quick before we, you know, go ahead and wrap up the night. And I'm behind her and I'm telling her like, you know, hey, save me some real quick. 
literally looked at me and just did what the fuck she wanted to do. And I was pissed about that. So, girl, what another, another, another petty instance, you know, on this show. And it's just so weird because these bitches is grown. Like, y'all is too grown for this. Like, it's... How do you? It's getting irritating to watch because it's like, why do y'all keep getting into it over this little stuff that don't matter? A Moet bottle, bitch. How much is a bottle of Moet? Like what? One hundred, one hundred and fifty dollars in the club, girl. Buy your own, bitch. Damn, like it's not that serious. Go to the liquor store. You know what I'm saying? It's not that serious. But I do understand that uh, Shay Marie got mad. I don't really think it had too much to do with the liquor. I think it was more so toward to do with Tennessee because Tennessee was doing little shit like that all night to those girls. Now, those three girls didn't have nothing to do with what happened to her at the house, but she was taking it out on them. She was being real weird towards them, you know what I'm saying? Like, looking at looking at Shea Marie and then pouring all the liquor in her cup. You know what I'm saying? Being rude and stuff like that to the other girls. And, um, yeah, just doing little slick shit to them that night. It was kind of weird. So, Tennessee, boo, you, 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 Get your shit together. Because honestly, to tell you the truth, if you don't want to catch a fade with the bitches that jumped you, why are you mad at these three? They didn't do nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 they're not your friends. Nobody on this show is your friend except Jessica. Nobody on the show knows you. So nobody on the show was obligated to help you or, you know what I'm saying, save you from getting jumped. Nobody. So I don't know why you mad at these ladies. They didn't do anything to you and they didn't give you any reason to treat them nasty. So yeah, to the key, you got to get that together, boo. So I'm about to breeze through this next little part real quick because it's just real irritating, bitch. So apparently the next day was Mother's Day. I told y'all they beat to the key ass the day before Mother's Day. So the next day, now that CV uh, concocted this little Mother's Day brunch thing for them where all of them just came and talked and it was real motherfucking boring, okay? It was real sentimental and real boring. It was boring as the fuck. It was like watching paint dry. Girl, they had sapphire ass there. You know what I'm saying? No shade sapphire sis, but you kind of boring if you ain't trying to, you you know, rain in no wild bitches. You know, that's, your, that's where you shine at sis. You kind of keep the lid on the crazy hoes and if it ain't no crazy hoes for you to keep the lid on, you just boring. So then they had, uh, 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 what's the other girl? Tokyo from damn Deja Vu Las Vegas. I don't know why the fuck you was there you know what i'm saying sis why were you wh what the fuck why is she here like i don't know if she was on another maybe not a tv sh i don't know she, like, why is she here why is sapphire here what the fuck why why are they here i didn't really get that but uh um, anyway so they there at this boring ass brunch and jessica dom lie and say that at the end of the brunch somebody's getting a bag so um no shade but nobody ended up getting the bag i don't know if she ended up saying that she likes shay marie i guess because shay marie I don't know what the fuck Shay Marie did, girl. But she ended up saying she liked Shay Marie and giving her some kind of some kind of shout out for uh, a sentiment a moment that Shay Marie had. <sighs> See how I'm falling asleep, bitch? Boring. So uh, anyway, long story short, girl, they didn't get no bag, bitch. They spending and swindling everybody, girl, out of them goddamn bags, bitch. They only gave out two bags so far. And um, wait a minute, bitch. They only gave out one bag. So girl, anyway, so moving on. They end up not doing shit at the brunch. It was just real, real born, real, real, real born. Oh God, real born. So I'm gonna just jump to the last scene because that was like the last time that I actually gave a fuck <laughs> about this show. So at the last scene, girl, they was uh, Jessica Dimes start conducting the interviews after uh, the Mother's Day brunch. She start conducting the interviews to find out who did what and why. So, um, first up, Rosé came in there. And honestly, to tell y'all the truth, Rosé could give, give a fuck less. I think Rosé is kind of over it because basically, you know, all of the girls is kind of pointing the finger at her. Rosé did not think of a plan to jump a uh, old girl. It wasn't supposed to be a jump, so they say. But she didn't think of a plan to jump old girl, but she was the loudest bitch. And y'all know how it go. The loudest one usually want to get the blame because at the end of the day, sis, I can come up with a plan to go rob a bank, but if you the bitch that 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 corral everybody and yeah, let's go rob this bank and actually make everybody go do it, then sis, you gonna be the one getting held responsible because you the loudest mouth and you the one making all the action and all the moves. Rose, them girls were scared of you, bitch. So when you got behind what was going on and you was the one saying, let's go, let's do this, bitch, of course they gonna do it because they scared of you. So sis, yeah, like you gotta take a little bit more accountability than everybody else. You can't have a little bit more mouth than everybody else. You can't have a little bit more oomph than everybody else a little bit more strength than everybody else, a little bit more whoop a bitch ass than everybody else, and then I, I take a little bit more accountability than everybody else. So that's what Rose was. She came in there, girl, just pointing the finger at her motherfucking body, but she did end up saying, you know, it's hard for her to look in the mirror, which I don't believe, because I don't believe that you're, um, that you really give a fuck about what you did to Tennessee. I think more so Rose is mad because the rest of the house is kind of 
jump back on Tenneke's side now. All the girls that jumped Tenneke is trying to gain favor again with Jessica Dimes, so they kind of kissing Tenneke ass right now. And then Rose and um, Rose and Nayeli, like the only two that's like still like, bitch, uh, tuh, I stand on what I did. Nayeli not standing on what she did, but she like taking taking accountability for it. And um, so yeah, but all the other girls is kind of trying to kiss ass or whatever to brown those to get their way to good, get good back in with Jessica Dimes. And you know, now, Rose, you find yourself on the outside. You find yourself out in the cold. And the thing about it is, sis, you need to learn how to be a leader. You too, like, you too grown. You're too up there. You know, you're the oldest one on the show. You're supposed to be leading these girls, not getting led by them. Um, I'm sorry, sis, but at 29 years old, can't no bitch make me do nothing that I don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? If I argue with a bitch, it's because I want to argue. If I come and fight a bitch, it's because I want to fight a bitch. I'm not finna get coaxed into a group. Nothing. A group of bitches can't get me to do nothing. So, um, I don't, at, at 29, so I don't know how the fuck they can get you to do it at 40. That's kind of weird. It's just saying that you don't have a strong mind. You don't have a mind of your own. You know, you're not this leader that you're trying to portray. you just a loud bitch with attitude. So, um, yeah, Rose, and that's why you ended up where you ended up. And honestly, to tell y'all the truth, I hope Rose go home. I, I don't want to see her there anymore. Um, I think it's getting to the bully phase when it comes to her and Tenneke. I think it's just getting to like a, a bully phase. It's getting out of hand. So yeah, I don't want to see her there no more. But uh, anyway, we move on. And next, we ended up getting West. They uh they did Rose, West, Ferrari, and then this this other like chubby little girl. I forgot what her name is. But um West. Pretty much wasn't trying to take any accountability. She was trying to point the finger at for uh, at uh, uh, Rose too, and trying to say, you know, um, and point the finger and say, uh, oh no, they told me to come get my one with her, so that's what I did. And oh, they came and Rose told me to do this and do girl. They just another uh, another non accountable person. So um, and West sis, yeah, you didn't have to do that either. You could have told them, like Jessica Dom told you, you could have told them you had three rounds with her earlier that day, bitch. You decided to do that shit. Take accountability. Whack bitch. Ferrari, another one. Whack bitch. Ferrari came in that motherfucker girl and got read to hell by Jessica. You look so stupid. Little bit of ass, short ass arm, penis ears like you're not even doing nothing. I feel like you just here just for a TV moment. But you gotta understand, it don't work like this. You be. You be on TV one minute and you be gone. Nobody won't be thinking about you. It'll be another Ferrari. It'll be a Lamborghini. But she came in that bitch doing on the same thing. On the same thing. The only one that came in there and took accountability for what they did was Nayeli. Nayeli came in there crying, talking about, you know, how bullying, you know, how her kids gonna feel when they look back and watch this. And that's, and that's, I felt that because that's what I was saying in my last review, bitch. Y'all got kids watching this. Y'all kids gonna see y'all dog that girl out. Her kids is gonna see her get did that bad on camera, on TV. It's just gonna be bad. So, uh, I definitely appreciate Nayeli taking accountability. But at the end of the day, sis, you did it. You did it. All of y'all did it, bitch. Like, just real talk. Just send all them bitches home, to be real with you. I would send all them bitches home. Let's be for real. Like, can't none of them hoes dance anyway. You know, um, I know y'all got replacements lined up. Send them bitches home. But, um, yeah, that's where it ended. And to tell y'all the truth, I'm going to watch episode eight, but the mint not giving. It's not giving. It's not giving. Like, that That really just, it, it kind of soured my mouth because it's like forced drama. And y'all know how I feel about forced drama. I don't really like that shit. So now that I know production has got their hand in the pot for some drama between the girls, I just, I'm side-eyeing the show now. So it's like, eh, yeah, I'll watch just because we started already. We probably just need to finish the season. But other than that, girl, the men, it's not really, it's not really doing what it was supposed to have. You know, not really giving what it was supposed to have gave. Definitely ain't fucking with the Academy at all by any stretch of the imagination. Um, not fucking with any other show on now that's TV, to be real with you. Um... Yeah, there's that. So, that's all. Make sure y'all donate to my cash app, baby, okay? All right? <laughs> and I'll come back to y'all with the baddies review and the deja vu review. All right? Bye!